I've never done one of these videos kind of before, but I'm here to talk or rant about the Warrior Cats shop. I don't know if anyone's talked about this online or anything before, so please tell me if I'm like late to this party or something. But I don't think the Warrior Cats shop is that good, honestly. There's a lot of problems I have personally with the shop. First of all, it's kind of hard to find things. like. I just, looking at the shop, I just realized that they had, like, notebooks. But everything feels overpriced. And a lot of people have- uh, I asked a lot of people and they've also shared the, the the same notion that things are overpriced. I personally have never bought anything from the Warrior Cat store because nothing really appeals to me. And I'll get into that in a second, but it just- <sighs> The pins are $10. Why? One thing that annoys me or bugs me the most about the Warrior Cat shop is the specifically the mini collector figures and the plushes. There's a there's already been discussion online about how they changed the pictures of the plushies so they kind of lied at least false marketing about that which i don't really care about <laughs> if i'm honest most of my gripe with the plush and the mini and the mini collector figures are mostly with the style and how they're being i guess presented the it feels really to me i don't really find the realistic style um, huge air quotes realistic style really appealing because in the Warrior Cats fan base you've never really seen very realistic cats drawn and as someone who's been part of the fandom for about seven years now which is like almost half my age it's kind of weird to get official Warrior Cats merch that doesn't feel like Warrior Cats to me. And that might be like a really weird take on this situation. Like, you're, not, you're complaining about the style. Really? And yeah, I'm complaining about the style. I don't care. It just, it feels, it doesn't feel like Warrior Cats. It, it just feels like a cash grab. And I realize that's kind of what Warrior Cats is at this point, a cash grab. But I don't know. I kind of, I wish there would have been more homage to the fans, or at least the fan artists, in the Warrior Cats store. And I think it would have been extremely neat if Warrior Cats contracted some Warrior Cats fan artists in the community to make official art for them. They don't have to like use their, like, oh, uh, do whatever you want, fan artist. You can use your own design, whatever. Give them some guidelines, say, here, can can we contract you to make a, a Firestar design with these specifications? Speci <laughs> I think it would have been really neat to contact fan artists and the fan and the, com the fans in the community because, well, I don't want to say that Warrior Cats is kind of a, a fan product at this, at this current stage, but I, I really feel like it is because it doesn't, the books don't really have passion in my opinion. They don't- they're kind of boring. Like, by the third book of each series nowadays, I just get extremely bored because it feels like they taper off in quality. And I feel like that's something that a lot of fans can sympathize with. That there's no real passion. It's just, okay, let's write another Warrior Cats book for the, for the fans instead of Oh, let me write a story about cats in the forest doing stuff. Which is, it's fine, I guess. A lot of passion I see, a lot of- The fandom and the Warrior Cats franchise in general, I think, thrives more off of the fan base than it does the actual source material. I can spend hours watching Moon Kitty and Tennille Flowers and their videos and I get more passion from the fans than I do from the creators. And I think that shows with the, the official story of it because it just, it doesn't feel, I don't want to say personalized, but that's only the only word I can think of because one, one gripe I have with these 
other than like the designs which feel so basic and they don't it's like yeah that's bright heart i guess <laughs> but it's not it's not bright heart and that's ravenpaw i guess <laughs> but it's not ravenpaw i i'm specifically talking about the plushie here i'm not i'll talk about the um the the collector figures in a, in a hot second actually i'm gonna do that now this is a nice segue i think the collector figures are really stupid because for one they're marketed they're mar marketed in extremely different ways like on the official store if you go to the um the top bar of the whatever it's called you see toys and plushes and then you see they're called collector figures and to me collector figures figurines action figures and toys are much different things when i think of toys i think of like lps and my little pony where specifically lps you don't really have like you don't really have a set character with those designs you just buy um a siamese cat toy that bobbles its head and you can move around and say this is sebastian the cat and sebastian likes to play the clarinet and you can make up a whole story for them that's what a toy is and you can even do that with my little pony figures you can literally say uh oh this is an alternate universe for for twilight sparkle and i can move its head and i can do all these certain poses so i can get you know it's a toy it's a freaking toy i can move it around and do as i wish and well, I haven't actually bought these because I am p poor. I broke. <laughs> and, um, you know, I don't really feel like going to my mom as a 16-year-old and be like, Hey, mom, can I buy these freaking $13 toy collector figures from Warrior Cats? I don't feel like doing that. So I, I haven't bought them, but from what I've gathered... And from what I see other people talking about them, they don't- they're just stiff action figures. And that's fine, I don't care if they're action figures. But if they're- if they're action figures, collector figures, whatever, don't say they're toys. But here's the thing, they look like LPS. <laughs> they look like little pet shop toys, but just boring. LPS, you have actual- detail in these cats in whatever they are in like you have personality at least they have different poses and that's kind of that kind of segues into my little talk about if they're collector figures then they should have different poses or at least different things to make them unique and stand out instead of just oh this one has long fur and this one doesn't it doesn't it's not it's not a big enough detail to warrant it being called an action figure. Because it's not an action, it's just a cat sitting there. Except Cinderpelt. Cinderpelt's doing whatever the hell she's doing. And a big thing about character design, especially, is being able to tell a cat, well not a cat specifically, but to tell a character apart from just its silhouette. And I try to do this with my characters, especially. You can see... This cat I'm going to show here has a triangle face and this one is very square. One is very lean and one is very, you know, has fur that kind of sticks out upwards to show personality or at least who they are so that even if it's not colored in, even if whatever, you can still tell, oh hey, that's Linky Mew from YouTube <laughs> or that's whatever, that's this character. And with these collect collector figures, you don't get that. It's just, here's this cat sitting down and they're colored a certain way. And I don't, well, mother, other people may like that. I don't really find it, I don't care. I can't, if I was not, if I was not a reader of this series, I would have no idea about this character and that that's it's kind of difficult to to do that and but i think that if they if the if the weird cats people 
<laughs> did that, if they made these cats have a certain pose or something to make them stand out with personality, I think that would go a long way and I'd be more interested in buying these. Because right now I don't care. I, I'm i really excited. <laughs> excited is not like the strongest word. I'm more enthusiastic than I was before about these cats having certain props, like Jay Feather having the stick or uh, Ravenpaw having the adder, and I think that's a great step. I'm not going to praise Cinderpelt because I have no idea what the hell she's doing. I, is she, like, setting up the Eiffel Tower? What it, or the Pisa thing? I don't... What's happening? <laughs> it's just... I, I, I feel like they could do a lot more with that. That idea of, oh, let's make them kind of stand out. And I'm going to draw something like, I, I have never made a, an action figure before or a plush or anything like that. So take my rant here with a huge astronomical grain of salt. But I think it would be cool to have something like, this is going to be controversial, but YouTubes where they have different poses that relate to the YouTuber. I know some of my some YouTubers that I watch have a YouTube's and I'm more interested in buying those even if I'm not really as interested in that YouTuber as I am in Warrior Cats because God knows I've hyper fixated on this for way too long. But I'm more interested in buying those because those actually relate to the character or the person. I, I would really be interested in seeing like a little Ravenpaw figure that's kind of like got worry a worried expression. Maybe the teeth are like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm gonna probably put a picture here because I like I like Ravenpaw. He's cool. I, I think that would be really neat. And I would be more interested in buying that than I would be in buying what we have currently. And another thing I find really that I don't like about the Warrior Cat store, uh, kind of in line with the collectibles is the pins the stickers it's just there's a freaking compact mirror just with the little mini figure of jay feather on it and i don't know why but that like makes me seriously upset for one who is going to buy that why is it 15 dollars and what does this have to do with jay feather it just feels like they made the mini creator and then just ran with it like it doesn't show personality. It doesn't, it doesn't tell me who this character is. It's just, here's a cat with some markings on a sticker. And I think that one thing that would be cool if we didn't get the, like, oh, look at this action figure that you can tell personality. If they kept the mini figures and the mini maker, I think it would be really neat. And actually respectful to fan- well not respectful but I think it would be really cool if you could make your own cat in the penny maker and then order it as like an enamel pin or a sticker pack or something because like you can make your own character I don't know how long these things take to make but if if it's if it's between you can order your own customizable customized mini maker if it's between that and, an, and a cool action figure that actually has personality, I, I would take the I would take the action figure, but if you're gonna keep the mini maker, I would really hope that they did that. I wish they would do more with the the toys. That's my that's my main gripe with the store, if I'm honest. They're cool, but I I think there could be done there could be more done. Anyway, so that's my rant. Uh thank you for listening and I hope you have a nice day.